So he's like, when I came out of jail, voodoo was bubbling, and then I came out, yeah, we lost 16 or something, 15, 16. Yeah, so that was the group, and then uh, I got my deal, and, uh, you know, things happened, you know. But I haven't seen, I saw somebody recently that said they saw Voodoo. I haven't seen him in a while. I know Mike Myers, Michael Myers, uh, you know, they still stay consistent. So I saw Mike at the uh, Fat Beats closing, and uh, I don't know where me and Green's at, and Berg still produces, he produces for uh, my man Stacey Adams. So I know he's over here with the fire. So, um, are they, so then that's not going to happen to you ain't in contact. So what about the Golden State Warriors? I mean, the Golden State always going to exist, man. You know, Sapphire's up in the Bay. Um, Exhibit's working on his project. Uh, he's got a group with uh, Be Real and my man Young D. Um, so uh, Serial Killers, that's the name of that. So y'all look for, look for that. And, you know, I'm part of that project. It's all family. And then he's on Adidas. So Golden State exists. We, you know, we always going to knock out records. That's technically, without no weirdo, you know, that's technically my best friend. So we're uh, so, so these groups come together, we get albums from you here and there, and, and, <laughs> and, and then you, I decide, you decide to go on vacation and shit. Yeah, hire vacations. I know. Yeah. Um, no, we're done with that, man. You know. but, but what's the situation, man? Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, like, without getting too much into it or, you know what I'm saying, as much as you feel comfortable, but, uh, I mean, what's the deal, dog? Like, everything's stop and go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? uh, that's the irony of life, man. You just got to be careful. Like, before any great opportunity is probably, you know, they say it's darkest before dawn. So, you know, I, you know, that's for anybody. Just right before your blessing opens up, sometimes you get trapped up in something stupid. And I was caught, you know, I've been getting, you know, I've gotten caught up. You know what I'm saying? I ain't no better or no worse than nobody else. I'm just done with that part of it. I'm ready to just, you know, enjoy what I do. You know, I happen to, I feel stupid for saying it, but yeah, I'm a rapper. You know what I'm saying? And, and I enjoy it. So, you know, it's time to just make the most of it and enjoy the journey. So you're re rehabilitated? Yeah, man, I'm solved. I'm cured. <laughs> so what, what's part of the rehabilitation, man? Uh, you know, just, um, I think, um, I've been signed. Oh, I was signed. I was signed since I was basically out of my life. So let's yeah. just say, basically, I was signed to the same label for about 15 years. Yeah. You know, and I think there was a lot of frustration being signed to a major label, but not necessarily getting the perks of the major label situation. Um, and now I'm, that's behind me, you know what I'm saying? So I just get to really have fun, do me. It's, a lot of people think when you get signed to a major label, everything's solved, and it's not. It's just a whole new set of new obstacles, and it's definitely politics within a record company. you got a lot of hoops to jump through, and you get very frustrated, you know what I'm saying? So I think I was a frustrated artist for a long time. I used to be on Sway and Tech Show, and they'd be like, Raz, Ron, and I'd be like, no, I just want to talk. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm frustrated. I don't feel like rapping today. Like, yeah, definitely. Uh, what, what would be like, I guess, what, that Google probably Razzcast, if any of this is, like, news to you, or the first time you're hearing any of this history, you know, this dude, yeah. been putting it down, you know, for years and years, definitely holds it down. See Arson. See city, Arson in the building. City north of Compton. Long Beach. Southwest city, north, of Hell. city north of Long Beach. Southwest of Compton. See, yeah, you put that shit out. I got everybody. You can't even say Carson anymore. It's See Arson. Because <laughs> of this dude. Yes, um, sir. But even now, so then now you're not on the major label. We put out Adidas. Mm -hmm. what, what's the label, man? Or what, what are we looking at? Uh, my company's called Re-Up Entertainment. And then, uh, you know, like I said, uh, we put it out um, thanks to Kickstarter, which is uh, basically a, a site where people can pledge. You know what I'm saying? It's like basically like a pre-order situation. So thanks to the people at Kickstarter, um, they enabled us to manufacture a physical CD and like the vinyl. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, we just out here pushing it, man, having a good time with it. Uh, you know, lip, you know, uh, spot date shows, trying to, you know, lock in and really get the touring thing flipping. And now, you know, uh, Fat Beats gave us the opportunity for, you know, a lot more distribution so we can hit those moms and pops in Idaho and all that, you know what I'm saying? And across the world, you know, in Germany, that mom and pop hip hop store that we can get the product there. So it's good, man. Just having fun with it. Be being from the era of being a signed artist, now with uh, the way everything is run and, you know what I'm saying, on some real shit, they ain't really putting money on that level. Right. Is it, was it more that level too to like take it that route or was it pure creativity? Like, um, I gotta be able to spit some shit. Or... I, I really, for me, um, I really wanted to finally do what I wanted to do. You know what I'm saying? Like literally, um, you know, I had a gag order and I don't want to go back into the past too much, yeah. but I literally had my hands tied for the past 10 years. You know what I'm saying? Like there were certain things I could not do. You know what I'm saying? Um, and it was corporate. You know what I'm saying? Like they'll sue you and they give you know, a million dollars. I fuck, I'm going to pull a million dollars out my ass. And a, a company that makes, you know, 
whatever, ten million a month, they could just sue you. And, they, and, they and you got lawyers on deck. Like, like, that's got, your job. The funny thing yeah. about it is they got lawyers on deck, but when they sue you, they go get some big dogs either in like downtown LA, some other like you know what I'm saying? Like so so they got a staff of lawyers that they pay two, three hundred thousand dollars a year, but when you go to war with them, they go get a shark. They don't even use those lawyers. So you fighting a big machine that's pissing against a water hole. So if you don't want to be in that situation, you know what I'm saying? I just was obstinate enough to fight with them and shit. But you know what I'm saying? I've kind of enjoyed just being free. And it, I, for me, it was a breath of fresh air to reach out, do something that really, genuinely, I wanted to do. So, you know, like some people are like, man, there's too many songs on the project. Give the fuck. Yeah, I mean, but I wanted to make on the Adidas, man. I think it's like 23 or something. Well, I, I couldn't even know. see the names, man. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking at it. You know right, what I'm saying? You know, I mean, if your biggest complaint is that I gave you too many songs, you're an idiot. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I'm just having fun, and this is what came out thanks to Red Matic and everybody involved. We just went in and really vibed out, and I, you know, I made something that I wanted to hear. You know what I'm one saying? One of the artists that you featured on that is Pause One. Yeah. I've been fucking with Pause One for a shout while. Out, shout out. Shout out. Yeah. Yes, sir. Um, but how did the meeting come about for Pause One? <laughs> How did I meet Paul's one? Yeah. <laughs> like real real hip hop. You want it real? You want to keep it real? <laughs> yeah. We were in prison together. <laughs> yeah, so y'all, y'all keeping it real out We were walking the yard, you know what I'm saying? We was walking the yard. Um, and, you know, the, my whole thing about, you know, the code, the code of prison, you know, the politics and all that other bullshit. But also, I don't go to jail to make friends. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You go to serve your time. You know what I'm saying? I didn't get no special treatment. I didn't PC up. I go mainline. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying that to be tough guy, but a lot of these niggas talk all this tough rap shit. Ain't never been in jail. Get, well, yeah, you know there's a difference that. between jail and prison. So they ain't <laughs> been in jail. And then when they go to jail, they scared to death. They got 20 days and they PC would up. You know what I'm saying? Go stand on your head and do a couple of years and then come talk to me on the main line. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, being false was, you know, mainlining. And uh, like I said, I don't go, I don't rap in prison. Like, niggas will tell you, like, I'm not interested unless you get my time reduced. Get the fuck out of here with me entertaining you. This ain't no video and no movie while I'm a rap on the, on the tables and shit and all the inmates. Got me fucked up. It don't work like that. So, um, you know, I didn't go to make friends, but I met a dude that came up. He was real humble. You know what I'm saying? He asked me intelligent questions, and I saw him. As I observed him, we probably locked up together at corporate for about a year. You know, just he was a good dude. So, ironically, he was the one person that, when I, you know, I left before. Did I leave him for balls? I think I did. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think I did. And so, you know, I was just like, man, you know, shot him a line. Like, man, when you get out, man, I, I fuck with you. You know, he's a stand-up dude, he's a good family, and I, you know, I wanted him to be a part of Adidas, I'm a part of his project, and, you know, we keep pushing. Uh, like I said, definitely, as a, oh, as a keep look it, at it this real. Guy. Yes, sir. <laughs> we got a prodigal son in the building. Yeah, OG oh, Husky Radio, we're telling you we're doing things, good, man. Let's go with a big rash. Oh, shit. Yeah, what's man. good, what's good? Make what's yourselves up, comfortable, man? make yourselves comfortable. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Good, what's up, what's up, what's up, yeah, but like I said, I wanted to get into that story only because, um, like people keeping it real or like, uh, like maybe he sold tickets, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> to get to that. But you know what I'm saying? I definitely like I knew the backstory with that. So he yeah, used to send him all kind of like information. He be, he was on he was studying. He was you know he was really trying to better himself. You know, it's not a place you want to be, but you yeah. know, you got options. You, you can better yourself, or you can come out the same retarded motherfucker you was. You know, and Paul's better himself. You know what I'm saying? I, I feel like I bettered myself. We learn from it. You know, we don't look in the past. You know, look in the past too much. We just move forward. Like I said, I just wanted to get in so people that know, like, oh yeah, I remember, like, oh, you know what I'm saying? That that ride is like that roller coaster yeah. for the fans, you know, so they know what's up. Exactly. And then you can go back. So what's up? What track we gonna get into next, man? Oh, uh, you know what? I just want to kind of play something that uh. It's a work in progress, but I figure I'll, I'll give y'all like an exclusive real quick. This is a uh, this for the smoke out. Uh, be real, reached out and salam. So you're gonna be uh, performing, right? Uh, I'm not performing, but it's the sampler. You okay. know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm sure I'll jump on the stage at some point. You know, yeah. if exhibit up there, I'm, I'm up here. But um, this is just something that we're working on. It's uh, me, corrupt, my homeboy being produced it, and uh, Young D's land his verse right now. So I'll just play like a little bit of. It's called Smoke Sun Drink Sun. It's just some, some smoke out shit. OGHuskyRadio.com Smoke some, drank some I'll beat the brakes off a nigga if you too front, bitch yes. 